make spicy pancetta penne with four cheese tomato sauce. Casa Italia has spent 20 years mastering the art of meat preservation. Today, a very fun recipe using pancetta, and this is a dry cured bacon. Into a preheated pot it goes. I don't need any oil or any fats in there because there's enough in the pancetta. It's conveniently sliced for me, and this product has been made by master butchers. Let's render the fat out. Today I'm using pantry staple Emma penne. Penne is one of my favorite pastas. The ridges allow sauces to adhere to it, and this product is imported from Italy. Salted boiling water, and it goes for about eight to nine minutes to al dente. Let's add in our onion, our garlic, and our chilies to that pancetta right into all that lovely fat. And add in some salt. The pancetta is very salty, so not too much. And some coarse black pepper. Let's add more time. I'm just gonna hold the tip and go towards the base and the top of that uh, time spray is nice and soft, so I don't mind it going in. This is gonna add a really nice floral element to our dish. Pancetta has a beautiful color. It's time to add in our sauce. Tons of flavor, fresh, local, all natural ingredients right in. Pasta has been strained into our sauce it goes. I'm gonna use all of it. Just fold in, we're pretty much done. The pasta is gonna finish cooking through in this sauce, and it smells amazing with that pancetta, the onion, the garlic and that lovely thyme. Get that back in there. It's heating back up and now this will finish the cooking. So it'll go from just before al dente to al dente. I'm also gonna add in a splash of that pasta water as well, which will help us build a voluptuous sauce. This looks great. The ridges on the penne pasta allow that four cheese sauce to stick to it. The pancetta is bursting with flavor. I love that I added the thyme and the chili. The pancetta, the penne, the thyme, chili's all in this bite. Let's give it a try. The penne has a beautiful chew to it. The four cheese sauce sticks to it really well. The pancetta is so delicious. It's fatty, it's salty, it's cured, it's amazing. This is a delicious dish.